Have you ever wondered how your favorite book covers are created? Senior art director George Long takes us behind the scenes from the first conversation to the hiring of a photographer and a model all the way through to the finished product as he designs the cover for Dark Peril by best-selling author Christine Feehan. At the cover conference we have uh, the publishers, editors, writers, uh, um, and the artists of course and we discuss the title uh, what it's about and what we'd like to portray on the cover uh, this title here Dark Peril was about uh, Christine Fian's very popular Carpathians and shapeshifters uh, it took place in in the jungle I believe it was the Amazon so we wanted to uh, show a very lush and and hot scene uh, with a very attractive uh, man and uh, the shapeshifting uh, cat so the original takes were over here where we had this very good looking model in a, a jungle river setting and then it progressed with the type and various colors. Um, people felt this, this model was a little young for the story since uh, the actual person in the story was in his 30s and uh, fortunately the artist that put this together had a shot of an older gentleman uh, which actually everybody loved and he worked out very well. And then uh, what I did is I hired a hand letterer who uh, created this, this type. This was a previous title. And we use this because it's, it's, it's pretty much a brand for her now. Uh, it's a very recognizable typeface. So uh, we picked this up for, for a lot of the titles. This was the actual layout of the hardcover uh, jacket. And you can see the, her name and the title. And these right here are the actual dies for the foil. This was a holographic foil that we chose, which is right here. We wanted something special that kind of reflected the light very well. Instead of just a normal foil like this, we chose this holographic, which is a special foil for her, for her cover here. And if you, if you look at it, it's really got a really wonderful sheen and catches the light in different ways. This is how you know it looks on screen. We bring in the copy um, that is written by our copy department, and that all goes in position. We bring in the type here. Here's your foil title, or author rather. And uh, to add some depth, we, we decided to overprint him over the foil, so it creates an illusion of depth in the image, which I think was uh, pretty successful there. And now uh, we actually do a lot of the pre-press work here to save the company some money in these lean times. Uh, we take anything that is going to be special like a foil type like this and we create another page which is going to be our foil die and it has to be uh, placed in the exact same position. Fortunately there are uh, commands in this program where it will reappear in the exact position for foil. And then here's the embossing die. The embossing is how we punch up the type. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting uh, process, and uh, we're very fortunate to have a wonderful author like Christine Fian, who has numerous number one best-selling uh, titles. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as uh, creating a book. It's discussed at the cover conference. Everybody decides on what they want for the imagery. And uh, from there, we go. We hire photographers and illustrators and hand letterers, and uh, hopefully, uh, end up with a uh, successful uh, product that sells a lot of copies.